one try on the game with Boss Bronze coming back to you with some more. Let's play a little Dragon Ball The Breakers. You know, I know that I owe you guys some content and it's coming. It's coming. The thing I, I originally had planned and recorded and uh, uh, looking back on it, I was totally unsatisfied with it. And I learned the power of persuasion that comes from my lips. And I only want to persuade you with good things, not mediocre things, especially when it comes to gaming. So I scrapped it and I said, well, I better go by my standby, which is The Breakers, a game that I enjoy playing very much. But don't you worry, we're going to get some new content soon in about ooh, a day or so. I promise you that. So, you know the drill, you know the deal, I don't have to explain anything about this game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so let's get started. Whoops, I forgot to mention something actually that I, <laughs> I was mistaken. There is something new. Recently they did a bit of a uh, update to the game. And, and, uh, along with uh, miscellaneous uh, bug fixes and uh, adjustments. They birth slash nerf nerfed a few of the survivor's abilities. Uh, the big one was indeed, you guessed it, the Bulma bike. Not quite as fast anymore with its turbo. So, shame for that one, but I'll be completely honest, that uh, ability was getting uh, used to abuse. It was almost sad. And trust me, I've been on the uh, receiving end to a lot of escape Bulma bikes, and they are kind of irritating. But I was not going to complain about it. Oh no, because I've done it a fair share of times myself. So I'm not a hypocrite about that. But the other thing that they uh, slightly nerfed was the uh, grapple, which is still fine, very usable, but not as you can't grapple as far or as fast as you could uh, before the patch. So those are kind of uh, uh, bad news for the survivor. But what's the good news? Well, the good news is they definitely uh, strengthened, buffed, a certain abilities that you would not expect and they're completely usable. One of which is the Flying Nimbus. It's much faster now. So you can imagine that's being sort of a semi-replacement to the Bulma bike. I mean, you're still very visible and a very easy target if you fly too close to the Raider. But let me tell you something, that thing can go, especially if you're like me and you got your vehicle speed buffs up to max. Oh, hold up, I hear him. Yep, there he goes. I am not playing around with Cybermen. Oh, uh, ooh, looks like someone else. Looks like the Cybermen found a new playmate. Glad it wasn't me, though. Yeah. Uh, I guess it is time to go. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, if you haven't noticed, I got instant transmission finally. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is, and I love it very much. Uh, but more of that in a second. Um, the... Uh, so yes, Flying Nimbus, great. Uh, you know, the other thing that they improved upon to a point where I actually replaced it for my own, uh, uh, it's like the new grapple device, at least for me. The uh, change missile, Ulan's, one of the Ulan's signature movers. Um, it's fast. It's still a little hard to control and it doesn't quite have that verticality advantage like the grappling uh, device uh, has. But the fact is that it's a really small target, now really fast, and I've tested it out. You could use it to get away uh, from engagements if you're quick and smart enough, and the raider just completely loses you. I mean, there's literally no downside to that. So that's what I'm using right now. The grapple, the grapple was a little different, but I still kind of felt that it too was overused to abuse uh, just... Uh-oh. I hear him. I hear somebody. I think it's time to go. Yes. Wee. But uh, anyway, so I, I and I'll be honest with you, I do like the change missile. It was a nice, unique move. And now that it's much faster and could get more distance than it uh, previously have, it's like a winner now. So that's what I'm using. Uh, the other thing that they changed is the two-way. Uh, I forget what it's called. Some form of two-way travel device. It's sort of like a... Uh, hmm. I can't even 
Okay, so I found it. Great. I forget what it's called, but it's basically like a two-way grappling hook where it's on a pole and uh, people can go to and from with that. That thing's faster. It's great. Uh oh, he sees me. Time to go. I'm out of here, idiot. See ya. You can't get me because I'm way too fast. Boom, my bike may be slow, but not me. So anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, that uh, also had a tremendous speed uh, increase. So like the grappling hook, you can uh, just grapple something and you're good to go. But you can also return on it back and forth. It, it's a it's a great addition to because I tried that out myself. It was very slow, but you could help you other team members could use it. That's why the benefit of that particular device. Um, and now that it's faster, you can get from different zones real fast. I don't have it equipped, otherwise I would show you. Maybe I'll find a video or something. I don't know. Um, but I'm proud to say one of the. Uh, best things that they improved upon uh, is that they shortened my sane drop pod back to a, a respectable level of cooldown time. Nothing like tremendously annoyingly long because they have that for instant transmission. But uh, uh, for the... Uh, it's still long. Don't get me wrong. But the sane drop pod you could actually use it as a getaway device. That actually is credible and works. It takes a while to get down, but it cooldowns quick, quick enough, so you don't have to worry about uh, getting uh, wait forever for the next one use. So those are the kind of things that they made recently in changes, and it shakes up the game to an acceptable amount. You could be an original; you don't have to stick with the meta. The meta is fine and all, but sometimes you just want to show your individuality. You want to say, "Hey, I like the change missile." You never uh, forget the fact that it's super slow as dirt and you can get picked off easily. No one's going to uh, be on board with that, especially in a team game. So you have to do certain things to make sure your stuff is viable. Oh, boy. How in the world? All right, I'm going to try to help because it's got all these Dragon Balls. Come here, you. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come and get me. See you later. I hope whoever's got that freaky uh... oh, come on, come on. Come on. Whew. I'm glad my distraction actually worked. <laughs> so as you can see, he did he was able to uh, still target me because he was looking out for me, but he wasn't supposed to be looking out for me. He was supposed to look out for the Dragon Balls, which, fortunately, he did not. So hopefully it was well worth it. I don't have any energy, so I can't really assist. But I'll assist in other ways, like that. Hey, look at that. So what else is going to help? Wonderful. Come on, level three. Be the tank. Nail him down. Oh, I wish I had some energy. I wish I was also level three. I'm not. Now, I recently, uh, you know, even though being under level when you're fighting a raider is not always the best thing, but if you could still lock him down with a weak punch, and he's still not going to move, and you got your change ability up, it's worth the sacrifice. I'll, I'll admit. I'll admit that. Before, I thought I was a little too reckless, but, uh, no. Uh oh, oh. It looks like it's already down. Uh-oh. Nope. Time to run away. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, wait for me. Wait for me. I'm too slow. Thank you. Whew. Ah, now that is a good egg, let me tell you. 
You know, we didn't win, but we didn't lose either. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, so yeah, as you can see, the, 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 the missile change, very viable, very useful. You could use it. It's not, doesn't have quite the same flexibility as the uh, grappling hook, but I don't think you'll mind that so much. I don't. I certainly don't. And I didn't have a chance to use my uh, uh, Saiyan pod in this video, but heck, I might show it in the next one. And the cooldown is pretty good in my opinion.